Hey, Martians. Uh, so it's been a busy month since we put the seismometer on Mars, uh, but there's not a lot, haven't been a lot of announcements, there haven't been a lot of changes in what you're seeing, so I wanted to kind of go over what's been actually going on. Um, so on December 22nd, we put the seismometer on Mars, and that was great. Uh, over the last month, we've been doing things to prepare the seismometer to take accurate scientific data. Um, we do this now, and we spend a lot of time doing it now, because the robotic arm may not last the entire mission, and uh, we just want to start getting good data as soon as we can. So one of the first things we did is to level the seismometer. If you look really closely, you can see the size is rocking back and forth slightly between these two images. Seismometers measure accelerations, and the biggest acceleration they experience is that of gravity. And so you kind of have to set them up so that they are perpendicular to the gravity vector. So size has some feet that it can use to level itself precisely. Then we drop the tether. The, the tether here, there's a storage box up here that uh, comes down and that lets the tether lie flat on the ground, or mostly flat on the ground, so that it can, um, it, it transmits less noise from the lander vibrations. Uh, then there's a leveling process, again, where the size can actually, you can see it in this, it's kind of popping up and down. It has different uh, heights that it can be at, because it wants to be as close to the ground as possible. But we weren't you know, we didn't know that it was going to be so rock-free, so we had to be prepared for settling down over rocks. The next thing which we just achieved was uh, the load shunt assembly. When the tether comes into the seismometer, it goes through this funny little sideways loop and back. That's also designed to reduce the amount of noise that gets transmitted to the seismometer through the tether. And so we popped the little bolt that holds the uh, the two plates of that load shunt assembly together and kind of dip down a bit. And then uh, we use the robotic arm to pull on this little uh, pylon on the uh, tether plate, thing called the pinning mass. And we just succeeded in pulling that all the way so that those plates separate and we have the size now ready for its next step, which is to be covered with the wind and thermal shield.